I want to assure the officials of my administration tonight that this demonstration of support for the arts is modest and painless. We're in terrible danger. Culturally and financially, we are in deep trouble. British cinema was alive and well making films abroad. We were the second largest film industry in the world. We're the country that actually made Superman, Alien, Star Wars, and all of that money's gone overseas. Are we completely and utterly thick? But they're never going to make films, I guarantee you. We believe that to support our industry, it's also about making sure that our production companies are the ones which are the basics of the system. And you say, well, how come we don't make any money? Well, you don't have any way of selling them. As I said, the whole system is corrupt. Silly bits of corruption, even, even over after awards. And I'm actually very, very happy that they've disbanded the Film Council because it's an archaic institution. Nepotism is alive and well in the film industry. The British had a very hypocritical view of themselves. Is that camera still rolling? Any independent cinemas in the uh, United Kingdom have closed. One of the worst things that could ever happen in the history of British cinema was to put me in charge. The wrong people are in the wrong are, are in the wrong places. Because there's a, there's a bit of lines of coke going on amongst those BMWs. Because you see, it's it's a scam, and they know that I know the policy is clearly not to allow British cinema to revive. That's just straight down the line theft. And in the recent case of Tony Scott, which having worked with him and known him as a friend, I find it incomprehensible that Tony chose this way to end his life. Well, I'm glad I'm not in the movie business anymore, because I couldn't talk about them if I was. Boy, what a question. I know you're going to cut this out, but still.